thousands of young Jamaicans are being trained as software developers to create cutting-edge technologies through a partnership between the Heart NSTA Trust and a coding company called Amber Group. National Coordinator for the HOPE program and board member, Heart NSTA Trust, Colonel Martin Rickman, says the program is allied with the vision of training young people in new and emerging markets. He shared details with a recent JIS interview. The Amber Heart Coding Academy was officially launched on January 14 this year, endorsed by Prime Minister Andrew Holness. National Coordinator for the HOPE program and board member of the Heart NSTA Trust, Colonel Martin Rickman, explains how coding will influence the future with a few examples. The process of coding is the art of uh, giving the computers instructions that it will do what you want it to do. Right. Yes. And coding is applied to pretty much any, anything that is electronic based nowadays. And it is, it is infused in all of our everyday lives. In the modern um, average person would have a smartphone. It would have been coders who would have inputted the basic information that told the smartphone how to work when you gave it any inputs, I mean, you punched in information or typed in numbers and so on. Um, everything from new modern cars, and in fact the future of cars is all going, going to be about um, computerized um, machines mm -hmm. and coders are going to be there to input the information to explain to the instrument or the yeah. car in this case right. how it should perform given what set of circumstances. Right. Here's how the partnership is linked through various organizations. So you have the Amber Group, you have the Heart NSTA Trust as the main partners I have the HOPE yeah. program who the persons are engaged under the HOPE program's modus operandi of um, training and internship. And then you have what is called the Art of Living Foundation, yes. which is a global foundation for social intervention and the training of minds in uh, conflict resolution and uh, the softer skills. The current program is being treated as a pilot with 100 students registered as two cohorts who will train for six months and gain experience through another six months of internship. Um, broken into two cohorts of 50 each. Yes. The overall intent, however, is to train, uh, I want to say, upwards of, well, thousands of persons over the next five years. Excellent. Uh, we have set, uh, and it's, I know it's a very ambitious target anyway, of 20,000 young persons to be trained in coding over the next five years. Plans are being made to sync the academy with the Education Ministry's plans to expand and embed science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So we're starting, of course, in the primary level. So we're looking at what we can do in the primary level to so start get the younger children along that path. And I must add, on that is that the PEP or the national curriculum standards where we're going with our young children now follows exactly along the same path because it's all, all about critical thinking, the creative mind and the innovative mindset. We are also going to be implementing um, in high schools or in the secondary school systems, so at various grade levels because we see the high schools being a feeder to the general program yeah, of getting those yeah. numbers. The next cohort of 50 students will begin training in May.